I keep buying cameras. I mean, I love taking photos and doing stuff. I don't do it too much, but I tend to just buy lots of gear. I have a Polaroid SX70 LAN camera that I've taken a few Polaroids with. If you watched my other videos, you will have seen that I have this Canon KEO 17, and I just recently shot film through this. I got two rolls that I just shot through here. Uh, this was up in my trip to Big Bear. I haven't developed these yet. This is just Kodak 200 film, so nothing crazy. This is another Canonet camera. This is the first of the Canonet series, uh, and I believe this is the last the QL17. The QL stands for quick load, by the way, if you didn't know that. So when you open it up, it has this extra hinge here. This one, the guy did say that he was having some problems with it functioning, but as you know me, I'm gonna try and hopefully fix it. What's really neat about this is I only bought this for $30. I mean, it came to 37 with tax and shipping, but still, that's a pretty good deal. Oh, and look at that. That's like a little cute eBay box. And I do want to be careful because what's kind of neat is what should be in here is a Canonet box, a leather case type thing, and the camera, obviously. Aha! There it is. That's so cool. That is the original box. Man, I like this. This is why I bought it, because it had this box. This is really neat. The original box art for Canon, Canonet cameras. This is the very first one. It's clearly old, um, but this is just really, really cool to see. On the side, it just says the same thing, 35 millimeter electric eye Canon camera. They call it the electric eye because the light meter is inside of the lens there. And then here's the bottom of it. It says the body number, which is body number 1,274,836. So they made a lot of these. This was the first one and this was the last one. Um, so kind of cool to have both ends of the spectrum for this camera. So let's try and be gentle to this box. All right, there's the leatherette half case here. Are you kidding me? He also has the original silica gel packet. <laughs> and it's branded with the Canon logo. That's funny. And then here is the manuals. Let's take a look at this stuff. So that's nice, tells you all the functions and features of the camera there. Another thing that I noticed is this seemed really well in shape and it quite is for its its age. The leather on the side, it's all cracking and a little thin, but that shouldn't be too bad there. Seems to be holding up just fine. Cool, we got a little cannon buckle thing right there. That's, that's neat, little details like that. So let's undo that. That should fold forward. Wow, this is really, clean for the metal in the lens it's so shiny i think it might be plastic there i'm just trying to take this off it almost looks like it can slide up yeah okay that's how it works wow this is a lot bigger too just like a quick little size comparison it's quite a bigger camera which is kind of nice because i have big hands this it's kind of super tiny to hold but i mean it's super Quick and easy to get your sh focus and take your shot. Um, what's interesting about this one though, is that how you wind it, it's on the bottom. So kind of a weird design. On the bottom here, this little foot can flip out. So then you can do it with your middle finger. You can cock it back, but you can see it's, there it goes. Well, I got it to cock back once. And this is a lot easier to move. Your focus, it's, it's at the very bottom, which is a little bit different from this one, from it being on the side here. This is on the very bottom. So I guess they intended that to be used with your 
middle finger to, to rock it back and forth, which that's a lot smoother than that one. I think this is metal, this is plastic, so it's a little bit easier to move things around here. Just under that thread there. Now we can see more of the camera. Not quite sure what that does. It's a 45 1.9 millimeter lens, so it's a little tighter than this and not as fast, but still pretty close. It's 0.2 off. Um, let's see, oh, the viewfinder, it's so dirty. I can't see anything at all. It's supposed to tell you with a little needle what your aperture should be, but it's just clearly you have to put in battery somewhere. Not quite sure where that stuff goes. I probably should look at the manuals. That would help me out. I'm just gonna keep playing with this, trying to figure out how to open up the door, which I feel like it's a certain button, but I can't. Haha. -ha. Okay, this acts like a lock here. So if you push this forward and then push that button, it'll release it there. Okay, so let's try to see how this one would load in. Um, put it up like that. Pull it across here. I feel like... So I'll have to spend more time with this camera to try and figure out how it all works because I know, like you said, it's not really working. Anyways though, let's see, where's the focus? How do I know how to focus? I can barely see where it's that little o overlay thing, but it just, it's all too dirty or whatever. But that is the very first Canon net camera that doesn't work. We'll see what happens, but yeah. Thanks for watching this one, guys. Hopefully I'll do some actual shooting stuff. I did some stuff up in Big Bear which depending on when I upload this, you probably have already seen that. So look forward to more of those ones, maybe some more film shooting or more with my Fujifilm camera and other lenses that I have for that. But yeah, hit that subscribe button if you wanna watch more content from me and I'll catch you guys in the next video.